Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Joanna, I'm a registered migration agent and I'm an I'm expertise in skill migration, business migration and partner visa. And partner visa. Now today I want like to introduce and talk about how you appeal uh, a, a negative result from skill assessment body, in particular vet assess. Because really vet assess assess a large vast majority of the occupations. That's why I want to emphasize on this, this skill body. Now about skill assessment, all you need to do is really you need to verify that three elements are really consistent, including your qualification, including your current experience, and including your normal occupation. Now these three has to be you know entirely con you know consistent so that you can be num you know very po positive about the outcome. Now, in order to prove this, you really need to demonstrate you have been recently working on the same occupation and the majority of your duties are really assigned, aligned with the ancestral search, ancestral result, description, sorry. So, but now we have a case, a lot of, we currently I dealt with the case where we got, neg so other agents got negative results from one of the clients. Now I appeal the case and uh, review the case now overturned, it become a positive result, positive skill assessment outcome. How I did this? Because really when I look at that file, so I check whether your occupation are really, you know, aligned. And the situation is a lot of countries, a lot of you, if you are applying that, you always believe that my, you know, your occupation, your duty is really 100% aligned with this particular occupation. So when you submit your skill assessment, you believe, you know, 100% confident that you have positive result, but you got negative. Why? Because your emphasis is so different. The skill assessing body, they are checking basically on the encyclical description. Even your occupation, it sounds like, you know, aligned that indeed your duties, you emphasize something that's not on the description, but you don't emphasize something, you did not emphasize something that's actually on the description. So it's really, really kind of scientific, scientific work, check words against words, check really closely uh, how you do. So this case, they got negative result. It's really because the client itself has a vast duties, including finance, including plan, business plans. Now, they believe if you apply for a job, that is awesome, right? Yeah, because you, you know, you're very competent. But when you do skill assessment, they, if you're doing, uh, applying for a technical work, you really no, do not need to mention that you have management skills. And management skill, you can just emphasize because you have technical skills that is critical to the part of the management, hence you been, have got uh, this management role. And the emphasize, so, also focus about your everyday duty and if you're doing technical work you need to provide a portfolio to demonstrate your technical part of work because really management if you say i'm manager it's really difficult to demonstrate what you do every day operating you can be admin a manager you can be technical manager you can be any manager but really difficult but if you're technical you know technician or scientist and consultant you can produce uh, report, you can produce your own research findings, you can really produce some photographs so you're doing the work. So when you do a skill assessment, it's not limited to qualification, reference, letter, that's it. You should include everything to prove that you have been doing the same work for a long period of time. I hope this one helps you, but if you have any questions, do you know subscribe my channel, leave a comment to me, or just simply send me an email. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.